the last time that I wanted to end my life and contemplated suicide was last year, January. The first time I had a panic attack, like I was on the floor and it's like everything before was like a, a, a blur, nothing made sense and... I liken it to just being in a dark room. There'd be in a room that's lit and then you see all the doors and then one day the room is just dark and you can't see anything. When I turned the mirror on myself, I realised that I wasn't particularly happy because all I was doing was going to work and coming home again. I started to feel like my limbs are sort of pulling away from each other, like not really like locked in, like how a joint would be, like some like like almost like rotting, but like really slowly from inside out. Depression comes in many forms. You might even want to come out of bed. That's one form of depression. You feeling shit about yourself. That's one form of depression. Now, if you have a, f a few things put all together, that's a fucking disaster. And most people look at it and go, oh, it's only because you want to feel safe for yourself. No, it's actually, it's, it's, it's actually a mental health issue. So I, don't, I don't think a lot of black people look at it as a mental health issue itself. And they don't understand that the culture that we live in influences that. I think life is harder for black people. I don't think it's a... It's, ne it's necessarily a destination. I think there's an element of agency that we have, but we can't ignore, um, you know, the context of, of, of racism. 